Right, hi folks, just going to film another 100 logos. These are some I bought off somebody. Uh, I actually had to go and collect these today. UPS, uh, Universal, is it Universal Parcel Service? UPS, those trucks claim that they knocked at my door yesterday, even though people were in. Nobody heard them, so anyway, I had to go to a nearby shop and collect them. So, this is the first time I've ever looked at them. I've just dumped them out of the cardboard box that came in, so let's get to it. I'm going to film each and every logo. I'll discuss whether I know the brand or not um, and I'll show what type of ball each one is on to help date them in case I ever do decide to sell these in future so first one PTS plumbing trade supplies logos in very good condition um, and the ball is very good condition yeah that's the first one don't know anything about that company next Bruce, Bruce, that needs a little bit of a clean. I haven't cleaned these, as I said, I've only just dumped them out of the box. Bruce, no idea what that business does. Yeah, all needs a little bit of a clean, but the logo is perfect. No idea what that company does. Next, Thistle Project Construction Limited. Is that dirt or is that a little nick? That might be a little bit of a nick where someone's hit the ball. Yeah, it feels like there's a little bit of a a nick there. Don't know what that logo is supposed to be. Almost like Santa Claus's face. <laughs> Almost. This all project construction. About. Okay, never heard of them. And I know from back in the day, I used to find balls that were 384 PTS 90s. I used to get these back in somewhere between about 1987 and 1991. So that's when I would date that too. Just off the top of my head. Feel free to be more exact if you ever want to know. You'll have to Google or use other search engines. Uh, next, Michigan. And I suppose that's an R for registered trademark down the bottom there. I can hardly make it out, it's so small. But Michigan, slightly worn logo, unfortunately. A little bit of a little bit of a cut to the ball. But not no, not like a deep cut, but you know what I mean. This this cut type of cover gets those little cuts when you hit with an iron. So anyway, that's um that type of ball, yeah, certainly not perfect. That one next, that's a nice looking logo. Great big orange and red tick inside of a red circle on a black background. No idea what that, that is. Zoom extra distance. I've never had this type of golf ball before. Zoom extra distance. Nope, that is a brand new golf ball to me. So, if anyone knows anything about that, tell me. Uh, and again. There's no writing with that, so no idea what that is. Next. Jupiter. Now, I've seen this before in the financial section of newspapers. So this is something, some kind of financial company, I believe. Jupiter, like investments or something. Not perfect ball. You can see it's been used. I presume all of these balls have been used. Ball is well, it's okay condition, but not perfect. Jupiter and Jupiter is obviously a planet as well. Next, oh my god, what does that say? Village of North Riverside, Mayor Hugh Hermanick Youth Scholarship Fund, North Riverside. Where's that? NR. Never heard of it. That's on that type of ball. Uh, oh, and on the bottom, my uh heart. -huh, that's that's interesting to me. Ah, Joe Rizza Ford, North Riverside IL. Presumably that means Illinois. Does it? I presume. So there we go. That's a Ford logo. That's a nice one for me. I'm into cars. Next. I thought I said trout from it. <laughs> Ty Tyrolit. Tyrolit. Never heard of that. Um, ball's pretty good condition. Someone's put a little bit of a pen mark there. As I've said in previous videos, nail varnish remover can usually remove um, people's ink or pen marks. But try it on a ball that you don't mind messing up because sometimes you can end up smudging the uh, ink. Anyway, next. Selkirk. I'm not sure what that logo is supposed to signify. Selkirk. Don't know what they do. 
tour flight. Don't think I've got this type of ball before. Tour flight by Spalding. Yeah, no idea when that dates to. Next, I uh, certainly know what this is. Heineken <laughs> beer. Heineken, not not perfect logo because that E there looks slightly it's a tiny bit missing off that E there. But Heineken, that's a decent logo. Max Fly DDH 500. I used to get these again somewhere between about 1987 and 1991 or so. So I would date this probably somewhere around there, 88, 89, somewhere around there. So Heineken, I'll put that to the side. I'm going to keep some of the ones that are big brands to the side and then I'll, I'll film them all at the end again. Next, oh, that's small writing. Timmermans and Verdult. And then whatever that says. Goodness me, that's a bit of a mouthful. The water scan tour. Okay. Um, ball's good condition. You can feel it's used. There's a little bit of a scuff there. Might might come out if you scrub it a bit more of a wash. Anyway, next. Ooh, Cadillac. Car brand. Now, unfortunately, as you can see, the, it's not in perfect condition. But Cadillac, good, good one to have. Uh, balls, decent condition. Other than that, I'll put that to the side. Right, next, Arundel House Securities, and then a nice tree for the logo. Don't know anything about XL Top Flight again. Used to get these somewhere between about 1987 and 1990, 1991 or so, and I, I think these date to bit before that even. These are quite old, so mid 1980s I'd date this to. Next, Twilights. Slightly, slight bit of wear to the logo. Twilights kind of kind of sounds like a dodgy nightclub. Max Fly DDH. Um, again, this is probably another one from mid 1980s or so. Don't know what that is. Oh, this ball's in horrible colour. It's like it's been in a lake for a long time or something like that. Bridgestone preset. Bridgestone. What's the A mean there? What is A? I've not seen the A printed like that before. What does that mean? Pringle. Ah. Now that's golfing clothing, isn't it, I believe? So, nice logo, unfortunately, you can see the ball is... I don't know whether that would come off or not. It's probably not. It's either sun faded or like water damage or something, but the actual logo is good. You could just about get away with displaying the logo. Next, the famous grouse, fine scotch whiskey, certainly heard of that. Don't know whether I've ever drunk any of that. Uh, it's not perfect, there's a little tiny bit of a scuff to the G there, a little bit of scuff to the U. The famous grass, but it's a decent logo. Okay. Next. I've certainly seen these all over the place. ATS Euromaster, these are garages where you take your car to get MOT done or exhaust, batteries, that sort of stuff. So car repair garages. Unfortunately, the logo is not perfect, but ATS, that's quite a decent one for me. Ball is slightly scuffed, not perfect condition. Next, I can see, oh, Kodak. Kodak, the camera company. Again, unfortunately, that's not perfect condition at all. And I don't know whether that will clean up or not. Kodak, but I've just bought some brand new Kodak logos from somebody else, so I'm going to have some Kodak logos soon i'll film them when they turn up kodak anyway i'll put that to the side right next st andrews scotland that's a golf club and i've probably got this exact same ball somewhere else i've got a few of these so these are unbranded balls so just one sold to for touristy reasons really next delhi fresh Deadly fresh, as you can see, the logo is slightly worn. That's what is that? It's just some kind of little 
bubble there. I don't know whether that's to do with the printing process or whether it's a flaw on the ball itself. It could be some kind of weird flaw with the printing process. I don't know. Anyway, Deli Fresh. Oh, you can see a little man's face on an apple at the top there. Deli Fresh. I've not seen that particular brand before. Next. London Myanmar Open. Well, it's obviously London, England. But I don't know what this Myanmar bit is about. I've not heard of that before. Hmm. And I've certainly not seen this type of golf ball before. Avenger Classic. That's a new one on me. Yeah, never heard of that ball. It's got someone's markings on it. But uh, Avenger Classic. Hmm. Don't know anything about that type of ball. Next. Um, trying to work out which way this is. Oh, there we go. Someone with boxing gloves on. And a grey golf ball. The John Conti Golf Classic Series. It's an interesting logo. That's a, I like the logo. Um, hmm, yeah, I like that. That's a good one for me. Next. Fat boy. Hmm, okay. Um, I was thinking Lazy Boy is that type of chair, isn't it? What's Fat Boy? Is that, is that again? Is that some sort of seat, maybe? Tour 432 by Wilson. Okay, but what? I don't know what that is. What is that? Let me know if you know what that product is. Next. John Lane making infrastructure happen. Not perfect condition, but not bad. Yeah, the ball's got a few little nicks to it. It's not in new condition, but anyway. Next. Classic Furnishings Limited. Nice enough logo. Uh, you can see the ball's got a few scuffs to it. It's been hit, obviously. Wilson, 90 means 90 compression. Okay, next. Bayer. That's an agricultural chemical company, isn't it? Bayer, agri-science, stuff like that. For crops. So things like weed killer pesticides, I think. That's... And the logo's not perfect, but... Not bad. And hopefully they don't make any of those chemicals and sprays that um, killing all the bees off. Right, next, oh dear. Oh dear, this ball's got a cut to it, definitely. Yeah, that's damaged. Look at that, I can press it down. I mean, it's not... I could probably get my fingernail under there and try and pull that out a bit, but I don't want to. So anyway, that ball's damaged, and it says... Gas turbine compressor cleaner in the USA and then they got phone number oh it's also a UK company uh, but you can see it's badly scuffed oh dear that ball's knackered Maxfly ah, CD90 and it's got another logo Zoc27 hmm and then you've got the remains of whatever was said on the side there don't know what it said on the side there Zoc27 hmm ok Next, Delphi. I've seen this on on a racing car, an Indy car. So what does Delphi do? Is it electronics? I'm not sure. Delphi. That's a good logo for me because I've seen it on a racing car. Indy cars look like Formula One cars, if you don't know. Um, right, Volvo. Unfortunately, the logo is not perfect. Volvo. Yes, I've owned a Volvo used to be a Swedish company, then it was bought by Ford, they owned it for a few years, now they've sold it to a Chinese company, so Volvo is now a Chinese company, in case you didn't know. I don't know if they're still made in China, uh, <laughs> still made in Sweden, but it's definitely owned by a Chinese company now. Okay, so the ball's good condition, unfortunately, their logo's not perfect, but put that aside, right, next. What is that? I've got it the right way around because I can see some letters down the bottom. Ah. 
uh, R Cadway, I think that says. R Cadway. No idea what that is. Uh, Pinnacle Gold, that type of ball again used to find it somewhere between about 1988 and 1991 or so. So I reckon it dates to around then. Next. That's a nice big logo. Which way is that supposed to be? Not sure what that logo is supposed to be. Ah, aha. That'll help. GambitoGolf.com. Gambito sounds Italian. A little bit of a scuff. Yeah, someone's whacked this. Gambito, so... It is that way. That's supposed to be a G then, is it? Okay. Oh. So, tailor-made burner LDP. Not sure whether I've had that particular type of ball before. Next. What have we got? Applied Biosystems. PE. Not heard of them before. The uh, ball feels very good condition, if not close to perfect on that one. Yeah, not heard of that company. Next. Speedy. Speedy. Now, I've seen that before, I think, on the side of van. So is it some kind of courier company delivering parcels? That's possibly what it is. Could be wrong. Ball's good condition. Yeah, I think that's what that is. You can always double check anything I say if you if you want to know. Hallmark. Oh, that's a good one for me. That isn't that. There's a Hallmark TV channel, isn't there? They're all soppy, soppy romance films and stuff like that. I think. So I believe that's what that is. Hallmark. The ball's got a couple of little nicks to it, but fortunately the logo's good. Ooh, dropped it. The logo is good, so I'll put that to the side. Right, next, ah, nice, Coca Cola. Enjoy Coca Cola. And if you've just seen any of the, in the last couple of days, Ronaldo, the brilliant Portuguese footballer, the Euros are part sponsored by Coca Cola, and they put two Coca Cola bottles in front of him at a press conference, and he moved them out of the way and said to everybody, drink water. And um, Coca Cola lost billions off the share price overnight because he said that uh, slightly damaged logo fortunately I've just bought some brand new Coca-Cola logos from somebody else so I do have other Coca-Cola logos there we go and I do like Coca-Cola so send me, send me a crate of Coca-Cola if you can please next Sun Alliance Insurance Group funnily enough I've got this exact same logo but I think in a slightly different colour to this on the same type of ball probably Dunlop 65i I think I've got one of these on a Dump 65, but it's more greyish colour logo. Sun Alliance Insurance Company, or well, Insurance Group. Um, yeah, good condition ball. Right next, business gas. Business, not British gas. Business gas. I've not seen business gas promoted as a logo anywhere in England before. So is that an English company, or is it an American company? Um, that I don't know. In England, we've got a company called British Gas, but no, not seen business gas promoted like that before. Next, Rihau, I think that says, with an R for registered, registered trademark, I presume, up there at the top. Uh, Unlimited Polymer Solutions. Not heard of that company before. Ball's good condition, feels good condition. Logo's not perfect. I don't know if that's a nick or whether that is actually supposed to be like that. That could actually be part of the logo, to be honest. Maybe it is written like that, maybe it's not. No, maybe that is a tiny bit of a scuff there on the E. Anyway. Next. What does that say? Tor... What's that last letter supposed to be? I think that's an F. Tor Doff something. JCT 600 Motor Group. Again, you used to get these balls somewhere around 1990, 1991 or so, I would say. So, 
that's probably when that dates to bison well i like the logo because i'm into all things american so obviously bison are famously something to do with america but the logo is not perfect condition what do bison do um someone's put a little bit of ink over there i think yeah uh so not perfect but i do like that logo next nice logo with what looks to be some sort of a bird up the top there not sure if that's supposed to be a swan or something else um something tor non abutor uh yeah no idea what that's supposed to mean somebody's put their pen marks on it aha aha thank god sponsored by asd unlimited um no idea what they do next whitehead electrical not heard of them all looks to be very good condition next wix isn't that isn't that website so you're supposed to build yourself at home dana i don't know what dana is but wix i believe is a type of website because i know somebody that's built a website using wix but no that that doesn't make sense actually um well dt titleist 384 dt90 again used to get these somewhere around you know 1988 to about 1991 so I reckon the ball dates to then. X out means there's something wrong with the ball, I, I think. But Wix, maybe that's a different Wix. I'll put that to the side. Okay, we're getting there, folks. Next. Advanced Network Technologies. And then I think that says TM for trademark. Advanced Network Technologies. Unfortunately, slight scuff to that. Um... So that type of ball, yeah, it's not perfect condition, but there you go. It's a logo. Next, Tetra. Well, that's not the Tetra I know. There's a, there's a company called Simoco in Cambridge. It used to be in the old Pi factory, the old Philips electronics factory, which, you know, Philips became Pi, or Pi became Philips. Philips then turned into Samoko. Samoko used to make um, pages, you know, before mobile phones, you could leave someone a message. And then they were working on something called Tetra, which was a um, encrypted radio system for the police and emergency services to use, so nobody could listen in with scanners. That's I'm sure that's not the Tetra I've heard of, but just to say that Tetra, the name, has been used since I don't know, the 1990s, 2000 or so. And that's on that type of all tailor-made lethal. Again, I don't know where I've got any tailor-made lethals before, but Tetra, that's an interesting one to me. I'll have to see what that is. Aldi, German supermarket chain, which is now in Britain. Uh, when they first came here, I remember my gran was taken there by a friend and she got all this stuff. They, they, they basically copy other people's brands. So if, if, say, Cadbury's have a purple packet for chocolate, Aldi would come up with the chocolate with a purple packaging. They try and make their things look the same as well-known brands, but the quality was terrible when they first came out. I don't know what, they, what they're like nowadays, but based on how bad some of their stuff was back then, I've, I've avoided them for a long time. Um, hopefully they've improved. Anyway, next. Guinness, and then Arthur Guinness signature down the bottom. Unfortunately, the logo is not in good condition. I've bought some brand new golf balls with that same Guinness logo on. So, fortunately, I've got a brand new perfect condition one. Because that will end up as a swap, I think. Seeing as it's not in perfect condition. Yeah, that's a bit scuffed. But I've drunk a few Guinnesses in my time. Next, what have we got here? Southwest Gas. Sounds like an American company. On a Noodle Plus. I don't think I've got many of these at all. Noodle. Yeah. Okay. Ball is good condition. Next. Uh, what does that say? BGF. Slight scuff. It's not perfect condition. BGF. On that type of... 
Ultra Metal Matrix, I think that says. Yeah. And you can see the ball's got those scuffs I told you about. So I don't know what that is. Next. Epson Grand Prix of Europe. Well, Epson make printers for computers so you can print out stuff from your computer. Don't know what the Grand Prix of Europe was all about. Unfortunately, that's not perfect condition. Again, this type of ball I date to somewhere around like 1990-ish, off the top of my head. Next, Inslee. I believe that's a type of insurance in England. Uh, ball's decent condition, a bit of pen mark, but Inslee, I think that's insurance. I'm not sure if it's car insurance or home insurance or what, but... Next, Dutch Boy Renaissance, trademark. Um, don't know what that company does. The Renaissance used to be... Um, wasn't that a nightclub in Ibiza or something? And CDs with that Renaissance title list. Uh, ball's not perfect condition to use. Next. Bernhard Grinders. I've not heard of that brand before. Ball feels perfect condition, absolutely perfect. Um, and you can see somebody's put a bit of a pen mark there. Again, that might come off with a little bit of um, nail varnish remover. Next. P.A. Don't know what they do. And this type of ball again used to find these somewhere between about 1989 and 1991 or so. Very good condition for the age. Dunlop. Dunlop 65i with nothing else written on it. Next. Rock 10 Co. Rock 10 Co. Don't know what they do. And that's on the DT title list. 384 DT90. So again, somewhere between about 1987 and 1991. I would date that too from the top of my head. Bit of a scuff. As you can see, I'm being as completely honest as about the condition. Because I never know. One day maybe if I sell these, instead of having to list them all, I can just tell people, look at these videos. Can you imagine how long it would take to actually type up a hundred logos to, to say the logo the type of ball it's on the condition my god just think how many hours that would take to do i haven't got time so um video it is manchester chinese golf society 2004 second open championship so well at least that dates the ball 2004 and you can see casino free membership don't know what oh something like stanley written in purple there stanley casino Manchester Chinese Golf Society. Logo is not perfect condition. You can see there's a couple of little flaws to it. Um, but the ball is not bad condition. Okay. Next. I've got this exact same logo myself. GRE. That is not perfect. But I'm pretty sure mine's on a different type of ball. XL Top Flight. So again, I've said before. I would date that type of ball to somewhere between, well, I know I used to get these somewhere between 87 and about 1990, so this could date to before that. GRE, not sure what GRE do, but I'm positive I've already got that logo. Next. TAB Diamond Tools Limited. Well, if you've got any spare diamonds, folks, send them my way. Diamond Tools, okay. Not heard of that company before. And again, I used to get these balls somewhere between about 1988 and 1991, I'd say, I would say. Next, Abbey National. I think that was like a building society in England. I don't know whether that brand is still going. I haven't seen them advertised for a long time, so maybe that got absorbed into another business. Abbey National. PTS Wow 90. Um, yeah, not sure what, when that dates to. Next. Kingswell, a safe pair of hands. Kingswell, a safe pair of hands. No idea what that business does. That's on that. 
Dunlop Revelation. Don't know whether I've got that type of ball before. Anyway, decent condition ball. Next. Ah, nice. Ronald McDonald's House of Charities. House Charities, that says. And then there's something down there that looks like one. Is that supposed to be a TM? Or is that 1M? It looks more like a 1M, doesn't it? Near my fingernail. So what does that mean? What does 1M mean? Anyway. Uh, Ronald McDonald. Well, that's McDonald's. A burger chain. So that's a big business. Ah. Oh, that's interesting. McCain on the same ball. So McCain make uh, oven chips. Chips you cook at home. Logo's pretty good condition. I would say not perfect, but pretty good. So that's interesting. McCain plus McDonald's on the same thing. Um, hmm. Okay, next. Priory Bodies, La Spa. Never heard of that. And again, this type of ball used to get somewhere between about 1988 and 1991, so that's probably quite old. Next. Um, Arum Tantechnic AB. And then a phone number. Where's that? Is that German? And then it looks like a gold tooth to me, doesn't it? Does that look like a gold tooth to you? It does to me. Um, not perfect condition ball, but CXB. Interesting logo, though. Next. wonder if it's a dentist or something. Next. Um, Rutland. P-A-R-N-S, is that say? Palms. Rutland. Well, that's kind of what it looks like to me. Palms, but that doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know what that logo up there is supposed to be. That golden thing inside of a green. Rutland. Hmm. Well, there's a Rutland Water in England. So I've been to. Um. Yeah, that's a. Don't know what that is. All right. Next, let's get to it. There's not too many more, folks. I'm getting through them. Next, Norweb. Connections. Not heard of that company before. Ball is slight, has a few slight scuffs to it, but the logo is good. Next. Ash TO Technology. The logo is slightly scuffed and worn. Uh, oh look, there's a little, just notice that, there's number three that's part of the ball underneath where the Y is. Can you see that? That's part of the ball. You don't very often notice things like that. Ball's decent condition, no idea what that company does. Right, next. Windmill Village. WV, where's that? Windmill Village. Not heard of that. Ball's very good condition. Could do a titchy bit of a clean, but next tarmac. As in the stuff you put down on roads. Black makes the roads really nice and smooth and lovely to drive on. I love it when you drive on a brand new road. It feels fantastic compared to Britain's pothole ridden roads. Our, our roads are in terrible condition. We need to stop giving money away to other countries and spend it on ourselves. Fix our own blooming infrastructure. Next. Looks like an oil barrel to me. Um, general. So maybe that's general oil. Who knows? General. Not heard of them before. Uh, NXT Tour. You can see it's got quite a scuff there. But the logo's fine. Next, B&H. 
Benson and Hedges, uh, tobacco company, makes cigarettes. Don't smoke, folks. It's terrible for your health. Kills people, makes them in terrible health conditions. So it's on a Wilson Jack Long with someone's initials. And again, bizarrely, I've just bought some brand new golf balls with this B&H logo on them. So this will be a uh, one I've got to sell or swap. Do not smoke anybody. Give up. Next, Aviva. And I think that's the same logo that Norwich Union used to have. So maybe Norwich Union became Aviva. Aviva, um, so some sort of insurance, financial stuff. Callaway Tour, what? Callaway Tour I, and then a Z, I think that is. Is that right? Tour IZ? I'm not sure if I've got that type of ball before. Next, um, Golf. I'm not sure if that, is that supposed to be you? Golf Plus would make sense. Golf. It doesn't kind of look like a U at the bottom, does it? Anyway, I'm going to go with Golf Plus. And then 1982. Ooh, could that be from that far back? Top Flight the logo. I don't think I've seen before written like that. XL Distance. Um, I wouldn't have thought the ball was that old, but maybe. Next, Golf Mad Phone Range trademark. Golf, don't know anything about that, never seen that before. Ball's perfect condition. Next, Co-Star Group. Don't know what they do. Ball's decent condition. Next, Human Workspace. Not perfect condition, but not bad. Um, NXT Tour S, I believe that says. I'm uh, not sure whether I've had that type of ball before. Anyway, don't know what they do. Next. Patriot Golf Day. Oh, you've got a fighter jet on that. Oh, that's a keeper for me. I'm into... Aviation Patriot Golf Day, very nice. Yeah, so if you've got any other logo golf balls you're willing to sell or swap, get in contact with me on a message on this YouTube account and uh, tell me what you've got. And obviously, show me show me photographs. You know, take a photo. You could probably get about eight per photo. I need to be able to see detail so I can see what you've got. So take as many photos as it takes. Let me know what you've got, and obviously quote me a price. Don't don't be silly. Um, and I suppose I have to say what I consider silly. Well, basically, when I buy in bulk, obviously I'm looking for the lowest price I can possibly get. So 100 golf balls, you know, anywhere anywhere 20 pounds or less for 100 balls, you know, pretty much a done deal. If I need the logos, if they if they're ones I've already got, then I'm probably not so bothered. But somewhere around there 20 to 25 pounds per 100 okay once you start getting over a pound per ball then it starts getting expensive so um the lower the price the more i can buy off you basically hand in hand and then that looks like a the queen's crown doesn't it people are shaking hands so don't know what that logo is a little bit of a scuff to the ball Hmm, don't know. Computer Associates. So I've certainly seen this company before. They Again, they used to sponsor. They used to be on the side of the McLaren Formula 1 team. Software Superior by Design. Computer Associates. The logo is not perfect condition. I can see a few tiny flaws to it, but that's, that's not bad at all. Ball feels very good condition. So that's a keeper for me. I like that. Next, um, what does that say? I can't quite work that out. Is that Norson N O R 
S O N maybe, and you can see unfortunately the logo is peeling. I don't, I've not seen the logo peel like that before. So, what does that mean? Why has it done that? Has it been in the heat? Or was it not put on correctly in the in the first place? But well, that's a damaged one. Three eight four DT ninety again used to get these, you know, back in late nineteen eighties, early nineteen nineties. Next, oh, I recognise that. I've seen that advertised before. It doesn't have the name. Now, what was that? Something like Prudential, maybe? Again, in uh, some kind of financial company, I believe, in England. Prudential rings a bell. That's on a B51 XD Plus. By Stone. Again, used to get these somewhere between, I'd say, 1988 and 1991 is when I date that to. Next. Um, what does that say? Herbert Smith. Is that a business or is that somebody who's printed their name on there? I don't know. It's slightly scuffed as you can see. Other than that, the ball's pretty good condition. Herbert Smith. Don't know if that's a business or not. Next. Agas. And then whatever country that is. The logo is slightly damaged. It looks like oil, flame, oil, gas. Well, gas, so. Petroleum company, probably in some country. Um, you see the type of ball. Ball's good condition. Just a shame that the logo is not perfect. Right, we're getting there, folks. Not too many more to go in this in this particular collection. I've got many other videos of logos. I'm filming my entire collection. I reckon I've got about a thousand so far, and I'm putting the videos of all of them onto the internet for you to enjoy. Uh, is that is that the logo challenger? Not the Space Shuttle Challenger, but what is Challenger? An R for registered trademark. Um, Challenger, don't know what they do. Titleist DT Distance. Again, I'm not sure what I've got that type of ball before. And if you know what any of these logos are, so for example, I wanted to know something about this. Say at the 42 minutes, 25 second mark, computer vision is, and then leave a comment, explain to me what you know about that company. So computer vision. I don't think I've heard of that company before. Again, this type of ball dates to somewhere between I'd say about 1988 and 1991 or so. A few scuffs, not perfect. Next. Tubs and tiles. Nice logo. All needs more of a clean up for sure. Tubs and tiles dot net. Dot net is network. I don't know why they've gone for a dot net domain. Normally you do a dot com, don't you, for, for commercial or for a site you're selling stuff on. Next. Cotswold BMW. Well, a Cotswolds are a nice place in England. BMW German car brand. Uh, the logo is not perfect. There seems to be a little bit of a scuff or something near the B. And for some reason, BMW drivers drive like absolute morons on the road. Um, yep. Yeah. Next. Nextel. TM. Nextel. Is that telecommunications or something? That looks familiar. Maybe an American brand. I'm not, not sure. Next, TEK Systems. Don't know what they do. Logo is not perfect condition. Titleist. I think that's one of those solo things or something, but scuffed off there. Next, Goering. No, well, yeah, Goering. I don't know what they do, sounds German. Ball feels very good condition, as in no scuffs to it. Um, yeah. Right, down to about the last 10 or so to do in this particular lot. Next. MK, I think there is. Well, there's a Milton Keynes, there's a city in England, but I don't know what MK as a brand or product is. 
scuffed unfortunately and that type of ball again that dates to some <clears throat> something like 1988 to about 1991 used to get those next HCM Hertz Claim Management well Hertz is a car rental company so what would the claim management part of that business be if you crash a rental car do you go through them <laughs> I don't know not heard of that anyway uh, balls needs a bit of a clear next golfbreaks.com so some sort of holiday company unfortunately scuff right on the logo where it's probably hit a bush or a tree when the thorns of a tree dig into a ball they make these little dents like that golfbreaks.com other than that the, ball, the balls feels really good next AutoUSA.com Presumably a place you can buy cars online But I've not seen that advertised anywhere AutoUSA.com Ball's a bit scuffed, not perfect Needs a clean Next oh, This is a good one for me to keep Welcome to fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada Well, I've never been to Las Vegas or Nevada So, um Maybe one day I'll get there. I'd love to see it. And it's on one of these balls that's unbranded, so some touristy ball. And unfortunately there's a bit of a scuff up there, so it's been played, but logo's perfect. That is a keeper. That may even go in a display case. I've got next. Peugeot. Peugeot Citroen is the same company. Peugeot. I know somebody that owns a Peugeot. French car. Um ball just needs a bit more of a clean Peugeot we'll keep that next oh, that's a good one to have Ryder Cup so USA against Europe the logo looks to be very good condition um, what type of ball and it's on an unbranded ball so something that's just been flogged to people that went to watch that presumably right just four to go in this collection folks next is a Vida Bank, never heard of it. 